Welcome live here to Racing Hawks Butt Weekend Roundup. I am your host, Devin Poslustein, alongside my guest co-host, Kristen Poslustein. Uh, update on Dave, he is getting better. He should be back in studio, I don't know, probably... Probably when fishing season's over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking... Huh. World Cup is on upstairs. Shouting upstairs, you know something well. Or, well. or bad, as we saw before when they made a goal and it knocked off the one defender in the goal. And you hear, are you beep kidding me? He beeps? I don't have a beep on my editor, so I have to make the beep. You don't have a beep on the editor? No, oh. believe it or not. Um, but back to Dave, he should be back probably uh, September. Would you agree with that? Uh, I would think so, yes. Uh, he might be back sooner, but uh, next week I can guarantee he's going to be very tied up with his sister. So Yes. That's not so good. Probably end of August, early September, that area, right as soon as my summer is ending. I say you go find him. Have it on the boat. <laughs> Racing Hotspot Week and Roundup is now on a boat because the driver is the guy who's been skipping the shows because of medical reasons. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, doesn't he look healthy to you? <laughs> no. Actually, he does look very good. Yeah, he does look good. He does look very good. He's in recovery right now. There is yeah. other parts to it, but we won't get into it. Let's take a look at our show lineup. <laughs> Whoops. Nope, that's not what I'm looking for. Motorsports in 60, then we go to Formula 1, Red Bull Global Rallycross. After Rallycross, we take a break. Then we come back, we talk about NASCAR, the points championship, in the final lap. So let's get right into things. Motorsports in 60. Running two computers here. This computer over there is going to go down to just one thing in a second. 60 seconds, one topic. Motorsports in 60, NASCAR Nationwide Series. Oh, great. 3% remaining in my battery. 15 minutes left. Woohoo! Uh, Nationwide Series raced at Road America. It's a road course weekend for NASCAR. Here's your top five. Making a double attack. Well, double this weekend. JJ Ailey finished fifth. Chase Elliott finished fourth. Kevin O'Connell. O'Connell? O'Connell. O'Connell. Finished third. Alex Tagliani finished second. And Brendan Gaughan won the race. Now, because it was a. <laughs> whoops. Because it was a road course race, Penske brought in an IndyCar specialist, Alex Tagliani as the driver. I'm going to bring up Dave's notes. We know he made notes. I know he made notes. I actually shared it with him this time. I haven't... I forgot the last couple of weeks. As the timer's going to go out. Boom. And I got to turn the volume down on that screen. Okay, so here's your notes for Dave's The Nationwide Series. Huh. Wow. I guess he repeated a lot. Uh, love racing in the rain. Rain tires or they look like they're racing on grease. Love it. Wow. It's never going to end, which on a four-mile course takes forever to go around. And Brendan gone unreal is what he wrote. And we'll get to his... Well, he's still on. So maybe he's adding while we're... While we're doing the show, he's probably going to be adding notes. So now, moving on to Formula One. Uh, we did the Formula One segment with Peter Long, so we're going to go to that. And, uh, yeah, let's go to the Formula One segment with Peter Long. Now to the Formula One segment here to bring in our racing hotspot Formula One analyst now, Peter Long. How are you doing today, Peter? I am doing awesome on this beautiful day. Yeah, beautiful way to end out bike week up here for us. Yeah. Um, let's take a quick look at our top five. Whoops, I had the wrong page open. Uh, the Austrian Grand Prix, is that how you say it? The Austrian Grand Prix, yeah. Okay. Actually, it's the first time in a decade at least since it's been held one there. It used to be called the A1 Ring, and they, had, they were regular on the calendar, and then they lost that race, and then Red Bull brought it back, renamed the track the Red Bull Ring, and... Uh, First time, so yeah, it's uh, it was only I think only four drivers uh, in the current lineup have actually raced there: Raikkonen, Massa, uh, Alonso, and 
forget who the fourth one is. Okay. So let's take a look at the top five here. Finishing fifth was Fernando Alonso. Felipe Massa finished fourth. Uh, Valtteri Botas. Did I say that right? Uh, it depends. In Canada, they say Botas. <laughs> wow, that's different. <laughs> um, he right. finished. He finished third, Lewis Hamilton finished second, and Ro Nico Rosberg won the race. Um, we didn't get to talk after the Montreal race at all because you just sent the videos, the awesome videos. Uh, quick one to talk to you about that before we talk about this race, that last lap crash. You know, that happened right in front of me. That was probably one of the most exciting F1 races I've ever seen uh, to have. First of all, 22 cars start, only 10 finished. A lot of attrition on these uh, two, 2014 spec cars. Uh, um, you know, Montreal is a fast track, uh, a lot of braking. So we saw some brake failures, obviously, during uh, that race. Only 10 cars finished out of 22. So um, mm. just shows you the uh, how hard that track was. It just ate up those cars, you know. Yeah. Um, it was an exciting race. Uh, Obviously, it's too bad for Hamilton to lose his brakes, um, and Rosberg had to nurse his car to uh, a second-place finish, which was great. Uh, Ricardo got his first win for Red Bull, continuing his domination over four-time world champion uh, Sebastian Vettel at Red Bull, and um, uh, all around, just you know, I think I on lap 53 of 70. Uh, we had the first five cars within two seconds of each other, which is just nuts. Mm. And uh, yeah, that last lap we saw, uh, uh, bo uh, sorry, uh, Massa try to make the pass on uh, Perez, and it cost Perez a five grade penalty this race because it was deemed he was the cause of the accident, but quite high velocity, they were on maximum velocity at the time, just a second before braking is when they made contact, hit the wall of about 160 miles an hour. Um, the video from within the cockpit was uh, crazy. Yeah, I saw that. Um, and I would have loved to see a Sebastian Vettel on board, like how you just see him coming in all of a sudden, boop, right on. Right, he was lucky not to get tagged, you know? Yeah. Um, so the race started with the wreck. Um, in the first couple corners, and yeah, then it finished. Cars took, two cars on the same team, I think it was the uh, the Marushas took each other out, and uh, uh, then we had a lap, uh, pace car for eight laps. Mm -hmm. uh, so Hamilton was a little unlucky with his strategy because of the pace cars. And, but it was a great race. I mean, uh, you know, unfortunately, uh, Hamilton didn't finish, and uh, uh, Rosberg ended up in second, so he, ex you know, he retained the lead. Uh, or he took the lead back from Hamilton after one week and uh, had a commanding lead, 28 points, because uh, obviously Hamilton got no points. Okay. Well, that rivalry is still alive. Hamilton went into this weekend saying that, uh, you know, he's fought back before from race number one when Rosberg won and he didn't finish. He was 25 points behind, so he feels he can make it back. And uh, today, unfortunately, in Austria, um, you know, the race was great, but qualifying didn't go so well for Hamilton. Uh, uh, first of all, you know, we've been seeing uh, Mercedes works team, factory team, uh, get 1-2 in qualifying pretty much all season. And uh, today we had another Mercedes power, the uh, Williams, uh, in the uh, iconic uh, Martini livery, uh, go 1-2 in qualifying, Massa, and then Botas. And then uh, in third place for qualifying was uh, Rosberg. And Hamilton uh, basically put four wheels over the line on one lap, so that wouldn't count. Uh, they were very strict. If you get all four wheels over the racing line, then the lap won't count. And then he spun out on a second run in the Q3, so he didn't even get a lap in and, quali and basically qualified 10. So he had a tough start. But, uh, you know, great for Williams to be back uh, strong. You know, one of the uh, most famous teams in F1, uh, rich history. Um, so yeah, yeah. being 1-2 on uh, in qualifying was uh, very good for them. I mean, they haven't done that since 2003. Um, but the start today at the race, uh, Hamilton basically went from 10th to 5th or 4th uh, within a lap or two. Wow. 
phenomenal uh, start to his race. And unfortunately, I think the pitting strategy for the Williams team was not as good as the uh, uh, Mercedes team, so it ended up being 1-2 for Mercedes, but 3-4 uh, for uh, Williams, which is a great, great for them, great for them in the Constructors' Championship. Um, and then in fifth, we had um, Alonso, which uh, again, in a Ferrari, just manhandles it. His partner, Raikkonen, ended up 10th. And, of course, we had some other Mercedes power with uh, Sergio Perez and Kevin Magnussen, uh, you know, in that top ten. Okay. So, um... Red Bull, uh, Metal, you know, had lost power, or lost his gearbox or something, but he got it back. But they retired his car, so he didn't even finish. So not the, the weekend I think Red Bull was looking for on the home track, especially after winning in Montreal or getting 1-3 in Montreal. Uh, and Ricardo, I believe, ended up eighth. So, um, you know, not the result they were looking for. But again, Ricardo uh, uh, has a better performance than uh, four-time world champion Vettel. Which I guess okay. for Ricardo yeah. is good, but for Bash Sebastian, it's bad. Would you agree? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sebastian Vettel's a competitor, and uh, he doesn't like to be second to anybody, and he's been. He's been out qualified six to two so far this season, and uh, he trails Ricardo in the points. So, wow, that's um, the drivers' championship. That's crazy. Um, anything else you would like to say on the race, or like you basically went right into it, which is good. But <laughs> anything else you would like to add to it? Um, no. I mean, it was an exciting race. A lot of passing, very close at the end. Um. So I think Formula One is, you know, with the new specs, uh, they're trying to make the cars uh, uh, more on an equal playing field so you get some passing and you get a lot of different teams win as opposed to always the same team. I mean, it's not really working this year because of Mercedes power, but still uh, other teams have Mercedes power and uh, they're bringing the fight to the works team. So uh, I think the season is unfolding great. Uh, of course, I'm partial to uh, Lewis Hamilton, so I'd like to see him... Uh, uh, do a little better than Rosberg next time around, and start uh, closing the gap on him. So we know Make who. An interesting end of season. So we know who you're rooting for. Uh, so you said that the uh, pl equal playing field. Do you think that Formula One might do anything to try to rein Mercedes? I yeah, Mercedes back in to like try to get other people to win or. No, I mean the thing is is. They come up with uh, specs and all these teams go into their factories and have to build a car. Uh, that's why they're constructors. They have to build a car to those specs. And it's amazing how all these cars end up looking alike, you know, after they're all said and done and they unveil them. Um, I think the difference is the power plants, really. And Mercedes has a strong power plant. Look at Williams, 3-4 today, and they qualified 1-2. I mean, they're, they're basically using the Mercedes power plant, as, of course, is the works team which is the the factory team and you know we have force india perez uh hulkenberg with uh sorry not hulkenberg but uh well hulkenberg also with uh, uh safari uh sahara india and also we have um the mclaren mercedes of uh button and um who is his partner um kevin magnuson the rookie who are doing very very well so you know, obviously the, the Mercedes engine is the engine of choice this year. The Renault and the Ferrari engine is uh, just no match this year. So really... They, they change it to a V6. Uh, uh, you know, from the V8, we went down to a V6, turbocharged, which, uh, uh, you know, it's a huge spec change from last year, but uh, Mercedes got it right the first time around. So sure. Mercedes basically has a grip on the new specs and stuff like that where everybody else is slowly catching up. Right. Okay. Do you think... And when they start the season, they have to start with an allotment of, uh, I guess, 10 engines, you know, that they have to use for the entire season, so it's not like they can go rebuild it at this point, you know? Okay. Do you think by the time we get to the end of the season, like the Circuit of the Americas or I think Abu Dhabi is on there at the end, do other teams are going to catch up or do you think Mercedes is just sailing... To the end. I think that uh, the factory team is untouchable right now. Um, 
you know, they got a huge lead in the Constructors' Championship. Uh, both their drivers have won two in the Drivers' Championship. I don't think anybody's going to catch them this season, but I think teams like Williams, like uh, Sahara India, maybe even uh, McLaren Mercedes, uh, might bring the fight to, uh, to Ferrari and Red Bull. You know, Red Bull is still, you know, the Renault engine is still not better right now than the... Uh, in the Ferrari engine, so we might not see the usual, you know, Mercedes, Ferrari, uh, Red Bull as one, two, three. You know, we might see a lot more Mercedes powers in the top five. So I think we might see some other teams fade. Look at Lotus. Lotus uh, uh, is running the Renault engine, and they faded really fast. They're they're not they're nowhere this year. Okay. Um, so we're kind of getting to the end of this. Uh, anything else you would like to add? to this race, Montreal race, engines. Nope, okay. well, uh, we'll see you at the next race. I don't even offhand, I don't know, even know where that is, when that is. Um, but when it comes, I'll be there. <laughs> Hold on one second, I can look it up. Uh, Google. Thank you to Google. Um, calendar is... We had... Uh, they're going to Silverstone. Yeah. Is the bonus Silverstone, I remember they, they talked about it in the post-race uh, interviews, which is uh, Hamilton's home track, and um, he'll definitely, he knows that track really well, as, as, as Rosberg does, so again, you know, I think as long as the car remains reliable, nobody's going to touch him this year. Okay, so that's going to do it for our Formula One talk with Peter Long. Uh, uh, yeah, thank you, Peter, and we'll see you after Silverstone. All right, take care. So thanks to Peter Long, he uh, did a really good job on that segment this week, and um, yeah. So now moving on to Global Rallycross, here we go, Volkswagen Rallycross and Washington DC, they took over the parking lot of um, RFK Stadium. Here's your top five, finishing fifth Tanner Faust, Steve Arpin finished fourth, uh, you saying they raced in the parking lot? Yep. Oh. Mom. John Joni Wyman. Joni Wyman. Or Johnny. Johnny Wyman, maybe. Yeah, Johnny Wyman finished third. Nelson PK Jr. finished second, and Patrick Sandell won the race. Uh, crazy rallycross race. A very tight course. Uh, probably one of the tightest that rallycross races on. So now, that brings us to our first break. See how quick this show's going. <laughs> So on the other side of this break, we're going to have your NASCAR review, and then, what are you doing? Looking at your getaway route? <laughs> um, that's going to bring us for, to our first break. On the other side of this break, we're going to have your NASCAR review, and then points championship, and final lap. Kind of a quick show this week. Um, so, yeah, we'll be right back. Welcome back, live here to Racing Hotspot Week and Roundup. Uh, for now, the fifth week, we'll just remind the viewers, the virtual race is now a separate topic. You usually are looking for it now, but it's a separate topic. We're going to Kentucky, which I'm really good at, and apparently, I don't know if you knew this, I'm really good on road courses because I won at Sonoma last week. Finally. I didn't finish 43rd. I finished at the office. In the virtual lap? Virtual race. Yes, you know what, I used my rewinds a little bit too much, but let's take a look at our um, Toyota Save Mart 350. <clears throat> Very crazy race. Uh, Dave only has one note on that. <clears throat> wow, seems like an opinion. Uh, finishing fifth, Paul Menard. Jane McMurray <laughs> finished fourth. Dale Earnhardt Jr. finished third. Jeff Gordon gave Carl Edwards his all in the turn 11 and did not do anything at the end, he finished second, and Carl Edwards now secures his spot in the chase with two wins, and he's the first, he's a first-time road course run winner now. Well, no, he won his first road course race win. Oh, yeah. 
race this weekend. This today, yeah. Here's Dave's notes. Uh, these guys are so much fun to watch on a road course. And that's Dave's notes. Now, I agree with them how they, they're they used to just left. By the way, I'm sorry for the dogs. They're right, literally right there. And they're burp, burp, burp. And the camera mic is on their side. Just our luck. Uh, so, my apologies. It's okay. Everybody. Everybody loves dogs anyway. Uh, so I agree with him seeing the drivers go in and out and in and out and up the hill, down the hill, compared to their left and right uh, usual oval, actually lefts, unusual ovals. Excuse me, I don't mean to block your getaway route plans. So now moving on to the points championship, I've realized why waste my breath when I can just leave the screen on and you guys can take a look at the picks. I usually go 5th, 4th, 3, 2, 1, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 6 times, and yeah. We did have a little mix-up at the beginning of this week because I got all the picks, but on my planning board, which is this, on Google draw Drawings, I never changed the picks around, so I had Michigan's picks for Sonoma, so I had to delete those pictures and stuff and update them, and so, you all set? Can I... Well, yeah. Okay, you were just looking at it. No. I'm just no, no problem. Okay, now moving on. Here's your results. Kristen got second place, equaling eight. Trooper got the win. <clears throat> Not he didn't pick Edwards, but his first place pick was the highest. Out of everybody, I'll go over that. <clears throat> I'll go over that in a second. Dave got fifth place, equaling two. I got zero places. Art got fourth place and third place, equaling ten. And Joe got zero. Let's take a look here. Kristen got eight because Junior was the highest finisher out of all of these drivers right here. Trooper got ten because Gordon was the highest finisher out of all the drivers in first place. Art got fifth, the uh, six points because Casey Kane finished one position over Marcus Ambrose, might I add, um, and he was Casey Kane was the highest over all these guys. Art got fourth place because Gordon was the highest over all these drivers. One position over Trooper and Junior. And Dave got two points, fifth place, because Gordon was the highest over everybody else. Uh, Rookie of the Year Challenge, only four people in it. Uh, Art got the win on the Rookie of the Year Challenge. Trooper got three points. Kristen got two, and Joe got one. Let's look at these standings. People of the fans um, spoke, and we made the standings bigger. It was also our cameraman, who was elder. Uh, <laughs> here's our standings. What? Yeah, I got it. Meaning he's older, mm -hmm. so he couldn't see. He didn't. He didn't catch it. So. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> but he's walking away. <laughs> Throwing his He's doing out. pretty good. <laughs> Art is in the lead with 113 points. Joe is in second, eight points back from Art. Dave and Trooper are both tied for third and fourth, if you want to say. Both 20 points back. Uh, Dave, oh no, Devin and Trooper are both tied for third. Dave is in fifth, 27 points back. And Kristen is in sixth, 52 points back. So the picking order for Kentucky will go Kristen, Dave, Trooper, Devin, Joe, and Art. Take a quick look at the Rookie of the Year Challenge. Trooper is in the lead, 21 points. Kristen's in second, 17. Joe is in third, 16. And Art is in fourth, 13. So if we scroll down now, Sonoma. Since they both had 10 points, I just nominated them both the winners. Uh, so... So we have Kentucky Daytona, which Daytona is the halfway point, and then we go to our track, Loudoun, Indianapolis, Pocono, Watkins Glen, again, another road course, Michigan, Bristol, Atlanta, Richmond, and then we have the Chase. The Chase is literally right around the corner. Uh, so What's now, the first race in that, Chicago? Chicago, yeah, and then where the second one, and mm -hmm. so on. Now moving on to the final lap, which I actually totally forgot to do, so I slammed, put this together real quick. Uh, 
IndyCar races Saturday and Sunday, dual races, both on NBC Sports Network, 3.45 for both times. Uh, Formula 1 is off till June 6th. Rallycross is off till, I mean, July 6th. Rallycross is off till July 20th. Trucks are off till July 11th. See, I don't know why I put July 11th, and on the other two I put seven slept. <laughs> Uh, Nationwide Series races Friday night under the lights in Kentucky, ESPN, 7.30 p.m. And then the Cup Series Saturday, 7... <laughs> 740 and 3 seconds, apparently. Yep. <laughs> uh, 7.30 p.m. on TNT. <laughs> <coughs> I think we ought to end the show. Um... <laughs> So that's going to do it for us. Quick little thing here. It's not up online yet. But. <laughs> and remember, he keeps calling me the old guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's not online yet. Um, but I gotta find it. We went to Legends Car Racing today. There it is. What's the time on the camera? Three hours, thirty minutes? No, no, no. Recording time. Like it's next to the red dot. No red dot. On. Oh, there it is up there. Uh, fourteen minutes. What? Fifteen seconds. All right, we have time. Well, the Legends Car Race we got to late. Are now. Uh, no. So no. I don't know. Uh, I'm not a soccer guy. We're racing hotspot. Mm -hmm. So, what the heck? I was going to say the race was only seven minutes long. Not what I'm looking for. So I was going to play it since we're only 14 minutes in. But, I guess my laptop died. Just look, at, <laughs> look at the screen. Just changed. <laughs> um gonna say we could play it because we're only 14 minutes into the show. What do you think, guest co-host? We're gonna end early? Yeah. Okay. Well, that race will be up online probably tonight because the race was only seven minutes long because we got there with four laps to go. Baby issues, like I said. Uh, you can check that race out and I'm not sure when our next live event season event is, but stay tuned. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Email if you need. Nag me. I'm on summer vacation now, so if you want to send me, hey, how are you doing? In five different text messages, um, emails, whatever. Um, so that's gonna do it for us tonight. Join us here next weekend, same place, same time, actually, Tuesday, and because the race is a Sunday, uh, it might actually not be because IndyCar is racing late. Whatever. Uh, say it, like I said, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube for all your updates. But until we see each other for the next week's show, have a good night, everybody, and goodbye. <laughs>